Okay, so before uh, I get started sculpting, <coughs> I just want to um, talk about um, morph targets and the sculpting techniques and, and whatever. So store tar uh, store target. So morph target is this. You save uh, one state of your model. Let's say that this is the way you want it to what you want to want to bring back. So just push store morph target uh, or yeah. And then you choose your morph brush. Uh yeah, sorry. Now when you make uh, changes uh, to your mesh something else blah 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 and you choose your morph target brush you will be able to bring that back so this is the way as I told you uh, the way I bring back my concrete uh, edges this is a tool I guess most of you uh, guys already know about so I guess nothing new but yeah something I'll use um, then I have this stone noise that I made uh, a while back it's not really the best the best uh, alpha but it, it works um, I can't really remember the, the guy's name but it was a tutorial made uh, on polycount for making stamps uh, it's just a picture from the beginning and then I went in and sculpted some extra detail I don't know it's just something small uh, it's not that great for stone it kinda works but it's it's uh, actually really good for concrete uh, so that I'm gonna use this one uh, I'll, I'll link uh, the other tutorial on how to actually cre create this this um, alpha so that you can do that too then I have uh, another let's see here uh, another brush that I made specifically for this uh, project and it's just <coughs> oops I got wrap mode on there I'm gonna take that away so it's just small peoples is it peoples? do you call them peoples? I don't know small stones uh, which you can find in, in, in broken concrete just gives a, a nice detail it was actually something I saw in, in um, Battlefield 3 uh, when you shoot at something they had made like a, a similar deco uh, with with peoples in it so and I, I don't know it was a nice touch uh, it looks kind of bad when you get up to it and uh, I don't know I, I should have worked more with this but it just it gets the work done I don't know should smooth it out a bit, but uh, and this was actually made by dropping uh, pre-made stones that I made just super quick. Uh, I'll leave that there and I'll show you uh, one second. It was just super quick stones that I made, pebbles. So I, I've saved them just for this purpose. I've made some other uh, some other stuff with it too. So it's just kind of ugly bad stones I don't know it doesn't really matter it's just something with some forms on it so uh, I take um, a big first off I make my document 1024 1024 um, and I just drop my stones in I, I, I get a plane and then I drop my stones in placing them there's a lot of tutorials on that subject too but just like that and then get the other stone yeah and then render out uh, an, a height mat an alpha from up here uh, where is it alpha and grab doc right there uh, and you'll get this uh, yeah you'll get this alpha where were I one second, I need a uh, document. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much. Oop. 
the the tools I'm gonna use. Uh, I keep saying juice. I don't know why. I guess it's my horrible accent playing its role there. Uh, but otherwise than that, I, I get my morph morph random. I call it. Um, I think I showed it in the in the introduction thingy. Oh yeah. So if we got this morph thing here, uh, I'm gonna sh show this. So to get a, a concrete uh, or like a stone edge, concrete edge, it needs to be random. So I created this. You need to be. It needs to be smaller, but it just gets this uneven edge, and you can make some small details with it. Uh, very easy little uh, brush. It's just a, r a regular br uh, morph brush with the stroke setting set to spray. And I actually left this at uh, its settings. I think you should change both the flow and the, the placement something you could play around with to get a better result but yeah that's that's pretty much the 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 brushes I'm gonna use mm. okay so yeah let's get started okay so I I loaded my um, my base mesh that I did in, in Maya and obviously you can do this in, in uh, ZBrush too I guess cuz uh, I mean just take the the cube and just punch in you can scale with numbers somewhere I guess I suppose yeah cube 3d uh, it's not as good because here you will have the the even quads so I like this much more um, and before we we start uh, I just want to remember uh, um, say that you need to to push in wrap mode on all your your brushes you're gonna use because <coughs> it's really easy just to sit there and sculpt and, and and forget about the wrap mode so all my brushes that I use is actually put to wrap mode um, I mean if you restart ZBrush everything is gonna go back to to wrap mode zero uh, so that's just something you need to set up before you start okay so I'm gonna go into geometry and push smooth off because I want to, to keep the hard edges so as you can see I'll have resolution without its smoothing uh, push smoothing again and then just go up to 8 uh, you could go up once more I guess it's not really necessary because this is just a, a base for the normal map and the, the AO and I mean you'll you'll if you need more detail you can do that with textures and, and crazy bump or whatever Okay, so th this is, um, I think it's like my third time I'm doing all that, this, because uh, I, uh, all of the times I forgot to uh, store my mor morph target. So, <laughs> excuse me if I sound a bit irritated. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not angry with you guys. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So, but, I mean, store morph target, that's pretty much the the whole that's the most important stuff thing to do otherwise you're pretty much screwed okay so um, I use clay tubes because I, I really like oops how that uh, digs into the mesh and as you can see uh, I could see if I do that um, it's not really you shouldn't do that because uh, if you, you try to br bring that back with with a morph uh, brush, it's just gonna take take everything away. Uh, but if you do that, I mean, if you use the the morph brush on the edges of what I just did here, uh, you'll you'll get that effect that I'm trying to achieve, uh, like chipped uh, edges. Because uh, yeah, just remember to sculpt inwards not outwards what do you call it outwards yeah you get the picture 
Um, yeah, so... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, don't really worry about the... I mean, think about the edge, but don't worry about the edge, because the edge is... It will be there with, with, the, with the morph brush later on. So, just think about your bigger shapes right now. Um, and I had, uh, like yesterday when I, or something like that, I, I did uh, a, another sculpt when I thought that I was ready to start my tutorial. Uh, I realized, like, I, I was looking at my reference pictures, because I actually have reference pictures, which you should have too. Uh, mine is quite awful, because it was really hard to find any on Google. If you find any, please tell me, because <laughs> it was actually quite hard. Uh, maybe that's just my lack of Google skill or whatever, but it was quite hard to find the really good reference pictures. But um, I was thinking about how how concrete would like chip off, um, and I think it's it's pretty bulgy and round and and you know um but then in the normal map everything is just going to get squishy and and look bad so i'll go over with the the edge polish or i mean it's you can pick whatever brush you want uh just so that you you'll get some some flat surfaces in there so so that the, the normal map will pick them up better uh I'll show that in a second. So and yeah. So something I did uh on my uh last sculpt was I put in like super big uh shapes like this. It wasn't really my intention, but I did. And when I baked it, obviously it wasn't this big, I'm not stupid, but when it's this big and, and you try to pro project a normal map from a uh, high poly looking like this, you're just going to get uh, smoothing errors uh, on the normal map. It's just going to get, if you look at it at this angle down, it's just going to be a, a, b a big uh, black, uh, well, error. And it's, it's not going to look very good. So try to, to keep the, the shapes to something small. Alright, I had a little short break there, uh, life took over. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Um, I'm th thinking this is almost done. Uh, I mean, this pass. Uh, I'm gonna go over with the edge brush shortly. So, yeah, I found the stamp video uh, making uh, oh yeah, the, the, the stone stamp tutorial uh, it's by Sean Marino um, it's right here I can show you so he's showing uh, I guess it's a technique that he found somewhere else I don't really remember but uh, yeah he goes through uh, all the steps uh, in making this uh, so obviously his alpha is a, a lot better than mine is, but uh, for concrete, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll uh, link to this uh, Vimeo in the description. And I think most of you have seen it if you're from Polycan. But yeah, it should be said. Dokie. It's time for the flattening of stuff. Um, 